In these examples, we want to identify the fraction plotted on the number line. Looking at the first number line, notice we have zero here and one here. And from zero to one is divided into one, two, three, four equal pieces, which means each tick mark represents one-fourth. So starting at zero, this would be one-fourth. This would be two-fourths, which does simplify to one-half. This red point would be three-fourths, the fraction we're looking for. Then here we'd have four-fourths, which is equal to one. So for this problem, this red point represents three-fourths. Looking at the second example, again, notice how we have zero here and one here. And then from zero to one is divided into one, two, three, four, five equal pieces, which means each tick mark represents one-fifth. So this would be one-fifth, two-fifths. So this red point represents three-fifths. And then we'd have four-fifths. And then this would be five-fifths, which is equal to one. And then we'd have six-fifths, seven-fifths, and so on. So the two fractions plotted on this number line are three-fifths and seven-fifths. Now it is true that seven-fifths is an improper fraction. We could have written this as one and, this would be one-fifth and two-fifths, so one and two-fifths. But normally when we're identifying fractions on the number line, we haven't learned about mixed numbers yet. So seven-fifths would be the fraction plotted on the number line with this blue point, and one and two-fifths would be the mixed number plotted on the number line with this blue point.